Greetings once more from Mission Control Houston and welcome back to our continuing coverage of SpaceX's Dragon's mission to the International Space Station. Right off the bat, you're getting a live view of the Dragon spacecraft just a couple of feet away from its berthing port at the Earth-facing side of the Harmony module, also known as Node 2. The vehicle was grappled uh, just a little while ago at 5.40 a.m. Central Time, and since then, robotics controllers here in Houston have been working to maneuver the Canada Arm 2 robotic arm, which was used to capture the vehicle, uh, into this new attitude uh, with Dragon just a couple of feet away from its eventual berthing port. And as you can see, Dragon now in motion once again. These commands all being sent by flight controllers down here uh, on the ground commanding the robotic arm to continue maneuvering Dragon. It's getting a lot closer now. Again, we'll get it in place and it'll have that initial capture and then they'll be able to execute a series of latches and uh, 16 bolts that will ultimately lock Dragon in place and keep it there for the next month or so during its mission to the space station. And you can th see things starting to get a little bit darker. They are about to pass into an orbital nighttime, already well over the Terminator line. You can see the Earth now dark beneath. The station actually flying over the uh, northeastern part of China right now, and then about to pass uh, just over Japan and then out over the Pacific Ocean and then in this night pass. Next sunrise will come in about 34 minutes from now. And hopefully we'll be really close to uh, having Dragon locked in place by then. And this is Mission Control Houston with a good update. The teams worked very quickly and very efficiently today, and we just got confirmation that second stage capture has occurred. All of the bolts in place. Dragon now firmly affixed to the Earth-facing side of Harmony. That uh, second stage capture coming at 8 a.m. Central Time, 9 a.m. Eastern, while the station was flying over the central part of the Pacific Ocean.